Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today is about speeding up your modeling process for 3D topology optimization result, but you can also apply the technique to almost any process you're modeling. And we're using this example right here, but the geometry doesn't really matter, but um, material may be the same in this case, or um, the 3D topology optimization may be the, the, the standard minimized compliance topology optimization, which you're using all the time. So um, you speed that up with uh, the TCL console. And how this is done, um, I'm showing you right now. So um, you have your Hyperworks X uh, loaded up here, new fresh model, and you see that TCL console here. So um, if you hop over to your documents uh, folder, there's this file named command.tcl. And if you open that, um, you see that there's a bunch of commands in here. So this is synced to your actions you take in Hypermesh or Hyperworks X. So if I create a material here, like I would do as a first step, create a material, name it steel. We have some values here, this, 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 and we're done. So steel created, set a few material parameters, hop over to the documents uh, command TCL file and say, okay, it's reloaded. Yeah. And now you can see, now it's a bit tricky where to start, but um, it's here. Create entity, mud, card image, mud1. And now you just can copy that and take a new file, copy it here, and then you can get rid of a bunch of stuff here. For example, everything which has start node history state can go and end node history also. So. We are left with a few parameters only. But the start node history are good for you to get what, what the, the commands are doing. So they are not useless, but you don't need that in your final script. So what we are creating here is a script. And we, we could um, comment here something. So for, for example, materials. This is the section about materials. And all right, here's the first command. Create entity, mats, card image, mat one. So far so good. Name material one. Well, maybe, um, yeah. You could use it like that, but you could also just use a uh, steel here and then get rid of all those. Um, wait a minute, set element color mode. We could leave it here, but this is not really important. And also this is not important. So, um, because that was the renaming. So here's your Young's module, here's your Poisson ratio, and here's your density. So that's the first thing. Second thing is properties. And properties, because we are doing two. Could you, it could well be that you're using a non-design space, and therefore we create two properties, design space and non-design space. And let's jump over to Hyperworks and create a property. First one, design property. And it's not P, a P shell, it's in this case P solid. And yes, the material is like this. And we just create another one, non design property. And also it's P solid. Wait a second, maybe we just use a script here. I I just deleted here uh, the non-design property because we're just going over to the our command TCL and look what, what this has done. So uh, we create an entity with uh, a property with P shell, blah, 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 blah. And where's the second property here. So everything up to here is the first property. Copy that over here. Now get rid of all the stuff we don't need. So first of all, here it's saying create entity props, card image, p shell. Well, that's not not um, not necessary. Oops. Okay, the second property is is created here actually. So we just leave leave it with with that one. So in here, card image, p shell. No, we we don't. We want a p solid. So we can get rid 
of um, the command later on where it's changing the card image to be solid like this one so this can go and what else do we have the name here so set the name to design property maybe we just use it here so we can leave that also away and now I'm getting rid of all the start node history states and the end node history states states um, create mark properties property one there doesn't exist a property one so it's nonsense here okay and this is the material so this is the first property now I'm using what I know for the second command so I, I just want to create a new property which similar um with similar values for the second property so in this case it's it's a non non design property for the name piece all this okay and now i have to be careful with the id because that triggers another property and now the id is two and i can just quickly copy that and paste it here in the tcl console and boom you have your non design property all parameters are set great so to just show you how how we're gonna do this, if I create a new model, don't save it. Just copy all the files, all the all the commands here, and paste it in here. We get this model. Perfect. So next up is components. Just reload it that we know where we left. So create a component, and first component is design component. And we want to assign a property to it, the design property. Material is assigned automatically. Perfect. So, same thing once again. I'm reloading the file here. And it's creating here a component. And I will just copy it completely. Go over here. That's a new, new face, components. And paste it here. So, create component. Um, include ID zero name component one, but I want to have it as design component. So we can get rid of all the renaming process, which is until here. Here's the the property assigned. That's good. So that's another useless command here. Well, maybe we we set the set element color mode to one. That's okay. And now we're using that knowledge to create a second a second uh, component, which is called non-design component, and has a property. Be careful with the ID. That's the ID you come by D2, second property assigned to it. So this should work. Let's go it over one more time quickly. We're creating a component which has a name, non-design component, and the value of this component with ID2 is changed. To, uh, the property ID has property props too, so the second property. All right, I just paste it in here, and you're seeing that um, a non-designed component has been created, and here's the property, and here's the material. All right, now the second phase, mesh and geometry. Ah, that's that's a pity because this is user specific. It's user exam use case specific if you have a cantilever beam yeah you you, you have a different uh, geometry than with a car so in this case we're just leaving that but the third phase um we can use so we have a load case with uh, two load collectors and the load step and then the topology optimization um as well so first up we're going skip phase two and go to phase three which is the analysis phase where we create two load collectors. So load collectors in here, create load collector, SPCs, and create another one, load collector, which is called loads. And finally, we want to create a load step, create load step, and this is a linear static load step, which is always the, or mostly the case for topology optimization which the SPC is set to SPCs and the load set to loads. And that's it. So let's jump over to the command TCL file and, and look what we got here. So yes, all right, there's a lot of stuff here. So let me search where I first 
created a load collector here. Create entity load calls um, include ID zero name load collector one. I'm just copying all the stuff here to our file here. So this is the analysis phase. Uh, why is this? Yeah. Um, and here I'm pasting it. And now I'm making a little bit, um, tidy it up a little bit. So we are creating an entity, a load collector is load Arduino, name is load collector one. That's wrong. So name is SPCs. And then I can get rid of all the renaming process. And that's all renaming process. Set value, load calls ID, ah, here, answer here. That's all the renaming. And this is the second one, it's called loads. And we also can just um, delete all the renaming. That's until here. Then it's creating a load step. Name load step one, that's okay. And I'm not quite sure if we can skip really something out from here. So I'm leaving it here. It doesn't hurt much. And note history. So I'm just cleaning up the, the comments, the comments. And everything else is set like, like this. So let's check. This could be an analysis template. Just saving it for a moment. So if I have a new file here, don't save, and just pasting all, all here. Then you see that you have the two components, the two load collectors, load step, as linear static, SPC assigned, load assigned, etc. You could go onto the details and do stuff more and just copy paste it like I did before, but that's okay for the analysis. Maybe I will just save this as a different file. Um, 3D analysis script. Because if you're now thinking about it, you're starting a fresh model, you're just copy pasting the commands in here. Now you can just start with the geometry modeling and the loads and boundary conditions and you're done. So that's, that's really, really a speed up. But it doesn't stop here. We have the topology optimization still to go. So I'm saving that again as the top up script and now let's oh okay that's okay um now let's get to the topology optimization all right optimize we have two responses to create first one is the compliance and type set to compliance well maybe let's do a weighted compliance because then if we want to add a second load step that's not much of a pity. And for one load step, it's the same thing. So load steps, one load step, that's okay. So close, and another one is the volume frag. Volume frag. Volume frag. That's okay. So back to the command TCL. Let's see what we got. Um, we have all the load steps here until this point, and now we are creating here the, the optimization responses. So copy that up, and we have a new phase here, responses. And I have here create entity re opti response, response 29, that's the type. Opti response one, that can be compliance, and we can get rid of the second line and the third line. And this is a comment line. I don't know about those two. We leave it like they are here. That's a comment line. Set value, ID2, load step. Here's the load steps. And then we have comment line. Now we are having the volume frag, which we can just shorten like that. Getting rid of this one, this one, this one. And that one. Now we have the design constraint. Which is here. And in this case, we want to constrain the 
volume frag to a upper bound of, for example, 0 0.1 and see what this gets us in command TCL. All right. From here, there's a lot of comment lines. So this will get a lot shorter. So first of all, um, we have created a entity optimization constraints name is, um, yeah, well, okay, we stick with that name. We could change it, but okay. And there's a comment line, set value, that's okay. There's a comment line, there's a comment line. There's a comment line. Um, so every second line is a comment line. Ah, there's, there's a comment line, end node, start node. Get rid of all those. And that's it. So you can see we created a opti constraint one. Then we um, created, uh, we reference a, res a response with the response ID. Then we set some value here. I think that's uh, that, that we have an upper bound. And then this is not much needed, but I'm not sure about it. Then we have upper option one. I think that's um, just the thing here. If it's a value or if it's a table, I guess. Let me just quickly check. Optimization constraint. So upper options, you could say upper bound or upper table. And one is in this case, the upper bound. You could look all those codes uh, up in the help file. So just um, paste it in the help uh, search query and you find something. And there we have the upper bound. Here's our value for 0 0.1. So if we want to make a later on another model with just the different values, we could change it here. So that's pretty neat. And the last thing is the objective. Uh, objective in this case is it's minimizing the compliance. So objective minimize uh, compliance and that's it see what this gets us another few lines but those is, those are rather rather few lines so this is this lead um, delete the comment lines and that's about it so you see that the compliance name is not referenced here you're just using the response id so that's good because what i wanted to do is the compliance rename it because it's not really the compliance it's the weighted compliance better be precise about that um this avoids uh, mis misunderstandings and that's it this can be your template file i will post this in the video description or as a link i'm not sure yet but let's say you're doing a new model and you want to do a topology optimization. And what you're doing is just, just copy that and paste it into the TCL console. And boom, you're here. Everything what you need to do is set up your, constra uh, your, uh, your geometry and your components, your meshing, and uh, your loads and boundary conditions. And so you're, you're, this, this stuff I'm, I did right here, you're doing that all the time. And if you're doing that all the time manually, you see by the length of this video how much time you can save for each model. So I hope this will help you. I will um yeah, I will upload a several um several of those files for also 2D analysis and 2D topology optimization so you can get the, the most of it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um if you have any questions, comments, let me know below and I will get back to you soon. Thanks for watching.